But, you know, Friday night under the lights, great, you know, spring weather. Out towards right, it's going to get down and all the way to the wall. Barbie hustling for second. She's going to go for third, and she is in there. Thought she might have stopped at a two-bagger, but all the way to third. Pitching for Florida Vine. Right back off of the glove of Wyman, and Virginia's got its first run. If she gloves it cleanly, the inning is over. She could not, and it's 1-0 Cavaliers in the second. Two and two on Smith. Got her! That's a big out. Sixth K of the game for Bigham. And it will bring a payoff pitch coming up here for Bigham. Back to the pitcher. Bigham to first in time. In and out of a jam. Sometimes that's what you need your ace to do. And another payoff. Driven out to right field, backing up Weaver. Runner tags, here's the oh. throw. Oh, they got her in a run down now. And the tag applied on Roberts. Wow, that was awesome. Payoff back oh. up the middle, base hit. One run scores to third. Barbie, or Holbrook that is. And there is the insurance run for Virginia. Seen a lot of pitches, driving it right where it came from, back up the middle. Huge piece of hitting right here, deep in the count, working it to be able to get that insurance run for Virginia. 1-1 one, one off the fists to Kuhn, who gloves it. And Virginia takes the opener against NC State 2-0 to move to 10-6 and six in ACC play. Awaiting the 1-1 pitch. Runner on the move. This will be cut. They do have the runner hung up, and the tag will be applied before the run can come home from third to score. So Virginia will not produce a run in the bottom of this first inning, though the Hoos threaten in a major way. Thinking through a payoff pitch. Here it is. Line right into the gap, right center field. It will be cut off and relayed to the plate, not before two members of that Wolfpack lineup come home to score, and NC State has taken the lead for NC State. Now among the major contributors is a junior, and she'll do so once more. Into the outfield, both runs are going to score. That looked like it worked off of Taylor Ensley as she was heading into second base after picking up RBI's 33 and 34 on the season to double the NC State lead. With a chance to help Virginia battle back. She will lift this in the air to center. Goins has it, the throw to the plate just up the line and air tagging will score. Virginia is on the board as Leah Boggs puts one in play that results in a sacrifice fly and an RBI. Multi-hit effort as part of a two for three. Day to open the series, and she'll send this to the deepest part of the yard. Goins was winding and twisting and somehow found her way underneath it for the first out of the inning. This is hit fairly well into left field over near the line is Edwards going to make the play. Runners move up. That includes Cabral coming home to touch the plate and make it a 4-2 game. But a 3-2 two, two out offering from Madison Insko to determine whether the Hoos can secure it. And Hilton will line this over the left center field fence to tie it up here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Jade Hilton's eighth home run of the season, somewhat on cue. Here's one more look at this solid line drive that cleared the fence and gave this Virginia crowd waiting to erupt something to finally and ultimately cheer about. They're in the upstate of South Carolina. 
She will lift this high in the air, left field side. That's backing up, and it's twisting and turning until it eventually lands fair. Marbury all the way around. And NC State has reclaimed the lead. Fortunately for the Wolfpack, Sykes unable to rise to her feet quick enough. Will not hurt the crew out of Raleigh. Her run will score anyway. The trailing run will come home as Goodwin scores on a ball put in play by Goins. In the end, she dives back safely to the bag at second. It is a three-run fifth, and NC State has established a 7-4 advantage in the middle frames. With NC State's lead hanging in the balance. Slaps this into right field. That's going to get down. It'll mean a couple of runs for UVA. And Leah Boggs has delivered to take a 7-4 game and make it a 7-6 game here in the bottom of the fifth. Continue. Here is Taylor Inslee who puts this in play. And that is hit well. Deep center. And it is going to sell over the fence. Inslee with her 10th home run of the season. Taylor Inslee doubling the Wolfpack lead. It's now a two-run advantage at 8-6. Well, we were just talking about uh, her sister a moment ago starting the game. And that combo, the Franklin products, in-state contributors, and what a time to become a double-digit home run threat in 2024 for the pack cleanup hitter. And this 2-2 is drilled, and that is going to reach the hill beyond the center field fence. Second home run of the inning, this one of the two-run variety. It is now 10-6 NC State as the Wolfpack has reinstated its largest lead of the day. It was 4-0 after that four-run second inning. The lead back to four. And we'll lay this just out of the reach of the shortstop for a station-to-station -station movement for UVA. It is a 10-7 game. Up in the spot of the afternoon now. Rounds this to short. Short route means one out. This gets away on the return throw, and it'll mean another Virginia run. And a 3-1 to Macy Eaton. Third baseman stabs it just on the foul side of the bag, and that's the ball game. Well, Virginia, with three runs in the bottom of the seventh, pulled right up on the hills of this NC State Wolfpack squad. Three of them, to be specific, belonging to her counterpart right now. This is in the air to right. That's going to be just out of the reach of Weaver. Around a third goes Marbury. She has plenty of speed, and with a little bit of trouble on the relay, she will score easily to give NC State the lead. 1-0 here in the third. 2-1. That's in the air. Left field going to be handled out there by Hackett. Runner will tag, and the throw in behind her arrival at home. 2-0 NC State on a sacrifice fly and an RBI from Insco. Latest RBI for Insco this weekend to close out the frame. So. Even the two hits to this point did not come at a prime time. This will. That's going to be high and into the bullpen. Beyond the left field wall, Jade Hilton has done it again, and Virginia is on the board, having cut the NC State lead in half in the bottom of five. This is in fair territory, and it is going to be well deep enough in left field to tie the game. A sacrifice fly and an RBI for Abby Weaver on senior day. It's one of the seniors making this contribution. Another senior, Abby Weaver, who's been a big part of this one already, drills this into center. Here comes the throw toward the plate. The runner tags, and a senior provides Virginia a walk-off victory to cap the senior day festivities.